welcome back to my channel. I'm sharing with you some fun autumn projects that I created for Scrapaholics chipboard. And I used the Prima Pink Autumn Collection. The project originally began as a swap that I was going to participate in and then things just kinda got got a little crazy and um, I wasn't able to participate, but I did have a lot of fun using this collection and I think I'm just going to send it as some happy mail to a good crafty friend of mine. I'm playing a lot with stickles lately. Everything needs to be glittery. I don't know why, it's just my thing and I've been really loving doing memory decks. So this is the only fall project that I did this year. Um, and it's not typical fall colors, but I still really like how it turned out. And I'm gonna start with, this is a cool open shaker memory decks that I made. And it has um, this gorgeous pumpkin from the Scrapaholics shop, as well as the base of it is this really cute autumn frame and I used some tool to make the pocket and it's just got a whole bunch of fun um, sequins and it, I put the glitter tool on there so it's super shiny and super sparkly. Just used a few of the ephemera pieces from the collection. I painted the frame with acrylic paints and then I used some stickles um, on, on like the trailing vines to really make it pop as well as gold stickles on the leaves. And then I just added some handmade flowers in here along with, um, this is a, uh, a die cut that I used for the, um, for the leaves, sorry little tired today and then this is just a pumpkin uh, I thought this could be kind of cute for like a tiered tray or you know something like that but I just added a little floral cluster at the top and these are some of the papers from the collection thought this turned out really nice and my second memory decks that I created I did you can kind of see it a little better from this angle, but this is a leaf memory decks that I made. And then I used one of the chipboard butterflies at Scrapaholics, along with a cute little floral cluster. I dipped everything with a little bit of gold paint. I thought it really brought out some of the uh, colors nicely. These are some faux uh, florals that I had stashed away. I just really love the look of faux florals in your projects. It just gives it so much dimension and it's such a great background for our gorgeous paper flowers that we use. And this is a little treat bag that I made. This is the other of the pumpkin um, decorations, I guess you could call them, that I created. And I should mention, this is uh, this idea is from a swap created by Carol Herlock for the Loaded Envelopes Galore More Facebook group. She used some of the Dollar Tree wooden ornaments I could not find them at my local Dollar Tree, so I just created a file in Cricut and cut it out that way. And then everything goes inside this cute little uh, memory Dex box. And once again, for Carol, she used a crate from Dollar Tree, but I couldn't find one at mine. Um, so I ended up making my own. She did later on amend the project so that you could create your own base. And I made it this cute country, you know, wooden, you know, even though it's made out of cardboard, I used super, super thick uh, cardstock to cover, it's not cardboard, sorry, chipboard. But I used the super thick cardstock to cover the chipboard and it's a super sturdy project. I glued on some wooden beads for feet. And then the front, I used, this is one of the cogs from Scrapaholics chipboard. 
and I wanted it to be kind of like a wagon wheel to put a base uh, for my floral cluster on the front and this is just one of the cut aparts from the pink autumn collection and I of course trimmed it with a little bit of trim I, I love how this turned out it fits all of the memory decks cards really nicely in here along with my little treat container this kind of sits like this it all stacks nicely. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more crafty content. And I will see you in the next crafty video. Bye.